I'm gonna come clean and let you know of a little secret that I've been working on. It's quite a huge project, but while we're talking about it, we're going to unbox something. This is our journey. Welcome to the Betancourt's Homestead. But before we unbox this, I need to share why I bought this and why I'm so excited and why I waited weeks to open it. I was kind of using it as my goal. Like, when you finish this huge project, you get to open this. So let's open it. But first, let me show you something. Dinner rolls just came out. I thought you'd want to see that. It's 9 o'clock. We can't eat them now. They're for dinner, right? Who am I kidding? Dinner rolls are for any time of the day or night. Like, let's get real here. Okay, first, let me tell you about these. These are dish towels that Lena made for me. You do not know who Lena is. Lena was a very sweet woman that lived next, to, next door to my mother. She was a weaver and she got my mother into weaving and my mother makes scarves and other stuff. She does not make dish towels. Um, but Lena was amazing at her craft and she would sell out all of her dish towels the minute that she, she would make them. She would go to little sales around the, you know, the fairs that they would have around our town and everybody would just line up to buy them. Why? Because they are superb quality and they hold up forever. Lena has passed away years ago. I still have her towels. Look at that, look at that. Obviously my husband wiped up something that's stained because you do not lose, use Lena's towels for anything staining. But Lena gave me um, some towels and she would, every once in a while she would gift them to you. But she always, like this one, but she always gifted them and she said, are you going to use it? And I was like, yes, yes. And then she goes, okay, you can have it. Because she wanted her stuff to be used. Now. You might think, when, when I went to the market, Lena's towels were expensive. Lena's towels were not, buy a pack of six for $8.99 at Costco. Lena's towels were quality and they cost money. And if you know what I mean, you pay for quality. They have a feel to them and they have just, they're just amazing. And you want to pick them out of the drawer. When you go to reach in a towel, the little fluffy filly ones that you get from the Costco or from the Dollar Tree, those are not the towels that you reach for first. You literally dig through and reach for these first. So now let's get back to this. What could possibly be in this? So we have a follower her. Her name is Jennifer Murray and she is amazing at her craft. I'm watching her weave the top the towels and she has like a towel of the month club and she's like really cool. Not sponsored video at all. I paid for these, but I wanted and I'm going to be doing this even more when I get the house paid off, but I wanted one gift. I have a huge project that I was going to be doing that was going to be coming up and I just wanted something that that I could buy myself and I could sit next to me and it literally sat on my desk in my office next to me while I watched it and I was posting videos. So what I have been up to is I have been taking all of the videos on TikTok and I have been uploading them to the, my, my MeTube page. I'm sure you know what that means, but I've been uploading them there. And I have been taking all of my green tomato videos of the season that I made last year, all the recipes that I made, and I've been linking them all together and I've been putting them up on, on the Tube page. And I've been putting all of the links that go to them. If there's a product that I've been using, I've been putting a link to that because you guys ask, because you guys want to know. I'm using stuff and I'm taking the time to figure out what works best and what doesn't. I want you guys to be able to go somewhere and have the link. And it's not really easy here to do that. But I want you to be able to have a place where you can go. You can see like my apple cider vinegar is not even, they don't even know I'm doing that yet because it's not completed. So my, my gummy berry harvest, I'm getting ready to finish my gummy berries and process those. So when that video is done, the processing video, then I will combine them all together and I will upload them up to um, the, the, the to be page. So you guys have a place to go to to get it all combined. Now, I just started doing that recently, so there are some older videos that are piecemealed back in the beginning. Um, I'm not gonna do anything like that. But I'm also changing the way that I am doing things, and I will get more into that later, because I'm still fine-tuning it. I'm still here until the government kicks me off. I'm still here. But I'm also going to be doing more interesting 
additional content over there about the same subjects. So we'll, we'll, we'll get more later. Yeah, want to see what's in here. So when I order something from our artists, and she is an artist, like this is an art and a craft. When I order something, I give basic parameters. Like my favorite color is gray. And I, I messaged her. I said, do you actually, do you work with gray? And she said, yes. And I said, well, can you, could, could you make me? And then she's like, well, what color gray? And I'm like, I don't care. My favorite color is gray. She's like, what kind of pattern? And I'm like, I don't care. I just, if that's your, when you're an artist and I recognize that you have artistic ability, I want you to have artistic ability when you do my stuff, right? I want you to take that artistic ability. I don't want you to worry about if I would like it. I want you to worry about your, I want your creative brain to just start exploring and I want you to get into the moment and just have absolute fun with it. That's me. That's me. So let me get, um, let me get you repositioned so we can open it. See my dinner rolls over there. It smells really good in this place. Okay. I am so excited. I can't even tell you. I have waited. What? When did you mail this? When did you mail this? It's been a while. It actually has been over a month. Okay, let's see. Thank you. You're welcome, Jen. Thank you. I really appreciate this. You have no clue. Oh, your business cards are beautiful. I'm going to put this up. You guys can screenshot that, people, and then order her stuff. I'm actually going to link her here. Dearest Tabitha, feel free to share on TikTok. That's very important because I wouldn't. Um, I'm so honored by your custom weaving order. I hope you will use and enjoy your 100% cotton handwoven hand towels. They should be very soft and absorbent for years to come. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I weave them with love and I've seen and the intentions that they be used and bring happiness and love into your home. I know that your mother is a weaver. Yeah, but she doesn't do towels. And so you know and appreciate the time and skill that goes into weaving totally 100%, which is why I ordered from you. Even something as simple as hand towels. Mm -hmm. I hope you'll share some of her work with us sometime on TikTok. You know, I should share my her, the scarves. Please tag me in the video if you do. I've included a gift for you with your order. It's a neck warmer. Oh made of 50-50 cotton and wool with a cool cotton lining. Instructions for wearing it are below. Please enjoy. It was the closest I had to gray, which I know is your favorite color. Yeah, thank you for your support and friendship and for sharing yourself with us. Love, Jen. Jennifer Murray, and it's handwovenbyjen.com. Neck warmer, how to wear. Hold, hold on one second. We gotta open these. My battery was dying. I love the towel. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I love the feel of them. I don't even want to take it out. Guys, guys, this is amazing. Oh, look at that. I love the, I love the design. Look at that, people. Oh, and look, hand wove. I love your little tag. 100% cotton, machine wash and dry, no fabric softener or dryer sheets, exactly how I do Lena's towels. Oh, what a treasure cherishing these. Oh, that's awesome. Let's see this, the neck warmer. Boy, we do really need that here. I should have opened this when we were going through the freezing rain and the snow. We had that, light, and literally the package was sitting here. Oh, this is gorgeous, people. Look at that. My mother's going to be so jealous. You do not know what you are missing out on if you do not find actual true artists in their, with, with their craft and order from them. Like, I literally do not want to order. I'm saving up for a Portland leather handbag because I don't want to buy a handbag off of a store shelf. Like I'm literally, I told my husband, I said, if I'm going to buy something, I want to buy quality from someone that I like can go in and talk to who makes things like that's just, that's just where I am in life. And I have been watching Jennifer on TikTok and Facebook 
weaving her stuff and the artistic craft that she has is just amazing. So I placed an order and she sent me a neck warmer with my order. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. But how to wear it, hold the lining side facing away from you and put the buttonhole where your right thumb is. I'm way blonder than my husband pays for me to be, so let's do this, because this, and this is beautiful. Look at this, this is beautiful. I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna wear it today because this is not what I'm wearing. I have to go to Portland today. Um, hold the lining side facing away from you and put the buttonhole where your right thumb is. Right thumb. Buttonhole, buttonhole, buttonhole. Right thumb. Fold the top edge towards you about three inches and then place the neck warmer behind your head. Fold the top edge towards you. The top edge towards you and fold it over three inches and then place the neck warmer behind your head, around your neck, and fasten behind your head, around your neck, and fast, fasten. Am I doing this right? Am I doing this right? I'm wondering. I love this. This is beautiful. Okay, buttonhole. Fold the top buttonhole where your right thumb is. Fold the top edge lining side facing me I'm not sure I'm figuring I need a video Jennifer do me a video and tag me but is this right is this right because this is how I'm gonna wear it today my mother is gonna be so jealous <gasps> Oh, you guys, this just feels so amazing. And it's freezing cold out there today, and I got to go to Portland. My mom's dog is sick. So we have to take it up to Portland because we don't have that kind of care here. I am absolutely tickled pink. If you did not see, I'm going to actually put the video, tag the video that I just did, this, the part one, here. The, the, the MeTube will get the whole entire thing all at, at once because I'll merge them together. Um... But Jennifer, thank you very much. I absolutely love these towels. And like I said before, um, my mom does, My mom is a weaver, but she doesn't weave towels. She weaves the scarves and stuff and with thicker, thicker yarn. Um, and these are just absolutely superb. If you guys do not have never used one of these, I highly recommend you go to her channel and you order some. Um, they're quality and you're paying for quality. I love that. And I love the design that you chose. Let the artists, um, I've never failed when I have let the artists um, that I order from design and do what they want. You give them just, I like gray. Gray is my favorite color. And then I just let them go. And then they, you guys have a great day out there. Support people that um, make things with their hands. Uh, we can't go wrong. We can't go wrong. Thank you, Jennifer, very, very much. I love this. I love this, too. This is gorgeous. Oh, and just so that you know, more information is coming about where I'm going and what I'm up to next, just so that you know. It's nothing special. It did take me quite a bit of time to figure out how I wanted to proceed, which is why some things haven't been coming up lately. You can go over, if you, if you find a partial here, um, but you want to find the full, like where was part one, and you can't find part one because you, it just pop, pops up in your For You page. Rest assured, you can actually go over to my MeTube page, and um, you can search. It's much easier to search someone's channel um, there. You can search for the word um, of the topic because I try to label everything. I am not the type of person that does that whole, it's the end, I'm quitting Facebook because that's not true, right? Um, so I always um, put my titles very true to what the videos are about, and I am combining everything. So like, if I had this part one and part two, they'll be combined together, they'll be uploaded, and they'll be there for you guys. 
Okay, so I had to go online and I was looking at her website on how she she wore it. And this is this is exactly it. But I want to tell you, I just came back from Portland. I spent all day, drove my mom up to Portland to take her dog to have a um, an ultrasound. And everything's fine. Everything's fine. <sighs> because they were concerned about something and it came back as being good. But the whole time my mom was like, that's really cute. That's good quality. <gasps> oh my goodness. She did a really good job. She had to know all about her. And I'm like, mom, she's on TikTok because she doesn't, she's not on TikTok anymore, right? Oh yeah, she was eyeing this like you wouldn't believe. But yes, this is how you wear it. I, che I, I checked her online to make sure. And it is absolutely comfortable. And it looked so cute with my outfit. It was, it was very cold today, very cold today and raining. It's still raining and very windy. We have a windstorm here. So you guys have a great day out there. Now you know what I know. And handwovenbyjen.com. She is really, really quality work. So what you're seeing is any video that I had on TikTok, I am down, I've downloaded it all and I have combined it together and edited all of the videos of the same subject together. So like today, today I put two videos up and you'll see those. Oh, let's stop that from playing. You'll see those videos right here. Do you see? Um, there's two videos over here and you'll see me shoving food in my mouth. Yeah, I'm shoving food in my mouth. That's pretty much. I am editing those videos right now. I am editing those videos. And after I edit those videos, I will be uploading them to that long form content that I just showed you the picture of. And then I'm going in, or I did go in, and before I uploaded the videos to you, I went over to my blog. And because it was a very long series and we're doing a lot of things on this subject with these apples, the discard apples, I actually did a blog post with the recipe in it for you guys. And the blog is also a link in my bio. Let me show you how this form is gonna go. When you go to my blog about a specific topic, like you just saw the video that I did, but you wanted the recipe, well, here's the apple wine discard bread. There's a picture of the bread, information, more in detailed information that I couldn't put. Then there's the first original video of making the apple cider vinegar with Bob. And then there's the second where we strained it. And then there is the third, which is the video I just, one of the videos I just made today. There's the recipe. And then the next video is going to go down here where I'm turning it into the freeze dryer and making it into crackers. Now, on top of that, I take all of this information and I'm linking everything over to that long form video place because it allows me to go in and make changes and it allows me to add information to it and put links up. I can't put links up in the other places and you can't really copy and click on things very easily. So I am going into the other one and if there's anything that I use like a silicone mat or if I a recipe I got from somebody else because I always wanna give credit to somebody else, then I will take that recipe and I will copy it into that um, comment about what the video is about. And I will put everything right there for them. And if anybody asks me a question down in the comment section, I will not answer them there. I will tell them that the link, that I'll add the link to the stuff up in the top. So everybody can go to the top and find all of the information that they would possibly want about it up there. Links to get to certain products, links to get to recipes, um, links to get to my blog where they can find the information. And the blog that I have will have all of the videos, if there is one, because there won't be one for everyone, but it'll have all the videos, all the information that pertaining to that topic that we're talking about. It will also have both video platforms. Um, the TikTok, I will put, post all the videos for that for that comment about TikTok, and then I will post the, all of them that I've combined together because I download them all, edit them all together, and then upload them to the longer form comp, um, media platform. That way, um, because there are some people, I, I know I'm one, I don't wanna have to search for part one and part two. I wanna be able to do it as long as I want, but I also am going back to my old camera. I'm going back to my Canon. There is one video when I set the trap, the one on how I set the trap. And that one, I picked up my Canon camera and I started, and it's a big guy, it's a big guy. It's the one I filmed the house with. And I'm going back to him. One, I love the video quality. Two, I love the sound. 
And three, I love the editing process. I mean, this right here, this, this is where I love being, like right here. Adding sound effects, adding, adding sound and audio, video, everything. I love adding all of that stuff. So this is where, um, this is what I like doing. And then I'm also going to start picking up the camera and eventually as I get caught up with all of this content, I am going to start walking around my property and every week I'll put up a video of everything that I'm, I've done that week on the property. It will be like live. This is, this is everything I've got done. This is what I got done. This is what I need to get done. And then the short parts of it will be on what will be here on TikTok um, because I'm limited on a lot of the stuff that I can put here on TikTok. But I also don't want to be, um, I don't want to have to worry about my stuff going away. So it's on several different places. And um, I love you guys. I absolutely love the community here. It's an amazing community. But you guys need to be able to find the stuff that you want easily. And the only way that I can figure out to do that is by taking you over to the long form. So if you see something here, and it's much more easier to search See, I, I, I'm not one of those people that when I put a video up, I say, oh, it's the end of everything. No more. I quit. And then I put the video up mm, and it's a video about how I'm no longer going to be making a certain kind of cracker. Like, right, I quit making this cracker or I quit buying the cracker. So now I'm going to make it. And I actually put the video. I mean, it's like those are clickbait videos. And I don't believe in doing that kind of stuff. I believe in earning your guys's views. So my videos are always, um, I haven't even made this one yet, but it's probably going to be apple wine discard bread and, tra and um, Trader Joe crackers or caught Trader like crackers, something like that. Like the video, like the, the comment I put up, the, re the title I put up on TikTok. That way, if you, there's something that you want to find, you can just go through and type like apple bread and it should be able to take you to the apple wine discard bread recipe. Um, I don't believe in creating something where you can't find the recipe that you want. I believe in creating stuff for you to easily find because if I make a quality product or a quality video um, with some information that you would need, then you will want to watch it. Um, I don't want to trick you into watching. I want to earn your watching time because every minute you spend with me is very valuable. And I don't wanna take that for granted. I hope that answers your question, but it's gonna be much easier and there's gonna be a heck of a lot more information for you. And anybody that's ever asked me in the last few video um, that I put about the grocery store shopping, I literally made um, a list of all of the eight things that you guys wanted. And after I get finished with this, we're going into the kitchen and we're making all of these. And I, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out Brownies or Hamburger Helper? Which one should be first, right? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe Raisin Bran. I don't know. Okay, that's it. I'm going to get going I'm editing because uh, my husband's coming home soon and I want to want to be with him. Talk to you guys later. Have a great day out there. Now you know what I know. And if there's any ideas of what you would like to see, put the comments in the below, down below. Anybody, any ideas of what you would like to see me do or the quality, like my microphone. I don't know if I told you guys this. Um, my microphone on my phone was going out. I didn't know that until I posted a video, copied a video over to the other content place. And yeah, my microphone was going out and somebody pointed out, we can't hear you. And I looked at them listening to it and I'm like, oh my gosh, my microphone was going out. So I have to literally up my volume 250% on everything that I download and then re-upload. So, that, that other camera that I'm going back to, it's a beauty. It's a nice one. It's made for film. So let's get back into having some fun while we create. There you go. We'll talk to you later. Oh, and here is a little secret. When you're watching those videos and you see the credits that say thank you for watching, always wait until the end. My viewers know that's when I usually put all of my mistakes. So when I cut and paste the funny mistakes, like I make goofballs, I just cut and paste them to the end of the video on everything. I got the time. If you guys want to watch, you can watch me be goofy. But sometimes I'm goofy, and I always put them to the end of that video. It might be fun for you. I know a lot of people like that, so I keep doing it. I had 10 minutes, and I ran out of time. So we're going to talk about this neck warmer. Let's read 
we're, 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 we're talking about dish towels that Jennifer Murray um, hand wove for me. And she sent me a neck warmer with my order. Now, if you don't, if, if, and unfortunately, I can't do that with this platform. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.